Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish Central. Um, today I'm doing part two of my all my what's inside my tackle bag, and um, part one was all the hard baits and the terminal tackle. If you guys haven't seen that already, make sure to go check it out. Uh, I'll link that in the description. So let's get soft baits up here. Plenty of stuff. Actually, I might have to. So here's what I have it stored in right here. I'm going to go over this little one first. Uh, so this box is uh, what I call um, other tackle that I do not use. We don't have a lot in here. Um, some of it I also have in here. Oh, I can smell it. It doesn't smell good. Uh, some of the tackle in here, I just ran out of space in the other boxes, like um, these two baits right here, the Lake Lunkers Taper Tail and the Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series Ribbon Tail Worms. These, um, I just ran out of space and uh, they didn't really fit in the other boxes, so I put them in here. Uh, so those are the first two baits, obviously. Next we got um, the Culprit 10 Inch Worms and Tomato Ribbon Tail Worms. Not a big fan of these. Uh, I don't know why. I just do not like these. Next we have the YFY fishing tackle, uh, crystal crayfish. And um, these, uh, I ordered these thinking they were going to be really cool, and they are, but there's no easy way to rig them. I'll take them out of the package for you. So basically, the way to use them is on a drop shot. Um, there it is. There's no, as you can see, there's a tail, but there's no insert. There's no easy way to use them. So I'm going to have to fish this on a drop shot. And they're a little big for that, a little bulky. Uh, but when I do, I have a feeling they'll catch some monster bass. So next bait we got are these Lucky Strike uh, drop shot worms. They're like these curl tail worms. They're tiny, just real cheap baits. Wouldn't really use them unless I ran real low, real cheap. Um, next we got these Cabin Creek Small Salty Spider Parts and Green Pumpkin. Now um, these were the jig heads, if you saw part one, the jig heads were in, were, go to these. And um, I don't think I'm really going to use these at all. They're a little small for a jig. And to be honest, if you're thinking about picking these up, I think you should just uh, go to the store and you can buy two jigs for the price of one of these. So it's definitely the better buy in my opinion. Next we got these Havoc. Sickfish Junior. These um, the only reason I don't use these is because they're too small. I can't do anything with them. They're um, they're swim baits, and I got small the size too small. Being an idiot, I am, and uh, that's just why I can't use them. Next we got these Z-Man Elastex Scented Leeches in black. Um, I am still gonna use these, but they're not on the top priority list to use. They're um. Elastec messes with your other baits, and it will uh, apparently it will cause a reaction if they combine. So um, I'm trying to keep this separated from all the other ones, just in case something does happen, because I don't want to be uh, wasting money on tackle just because this little bait right here destroyed all of it. Um, next, we got the big bite baits, uh, three inch grubs, and uh, chartreuse green. Um, I just don't really like the grubs, to be honest. I not a fan of them. Some people like them from trailers. I personally do not really like grubs. And um, whatever they are, just still really don't like them. I mean, if I got one in a mystery tackle box, I would probably try it out just because. But um, those in particular, I just not really a fan of. So that's it for the do not use box. Now we'll go over the box. That has a little pattern to it, and uh, this pattern is pretty easy to find. Oh wait, we got one more thing. We got a uh, a Booyah Bayco boot teaser rig. It's an umbrella rig with uh, screw locks. Uh, you just screw the grubs on, and you um, have one trailer hook in the back. I'm gonna try this out. It just looks cool. Um, didn't classify that as a hard bait, and uh, so I think it just belongs over here. So the pattern to this box is that it is all Havoc baits. Um, these were all actually, or not all of them, most of them were actually in the 
Christmas Tackle Warehouse unboxing. So if you have not seen that video yet, I'll put a link in the description and you can check that out. Um, it is nearing 100 views, which I think is pretty cool. So if we can get 100 views, that would be awesome. So first two baits we got are these uh, grass pigs and we uh, in five inch grass pigs and pearl white silver flake. Um, just a good swim bait to use. Gonna be throwing this in heavy cover and stuff like that. Next we got the uh, grass pig juniors in black blue silver flake. Uh, these are 3.5 inch size. Gonna be using these for like trailers and stuff. Maybe even put it on a shaky head. Just depends. Um, next, I believe. What I got here? I think I have the Boss Dogs. Got three packs of these. Yep, three packs of these uh, Boss Dogs. And uh, first one we got is in Bama Bug. Second one we got is Black Red Flake with Chartreuse Tail. The last one we got is the classic black and blue. Actually, I'm going to take these two out. Because all of the rest of the Havoc baits are going to be pit bosses. I have quite a few of them. I think I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. One, two, three. I have 10 packs of pit bosses, um, so we'll go over them all right now in the colors. Um, put them all over here. First one we got is the 4 inch version in plum. I'm going to take these out for you because these are really good craw color in my opinion. That's going to be a really good fish flipping and pitching uh, presentation in my like. And these, I don't think these have a scent to them. It just smells like rubber, which I like, because I don't like how slippery the baits can get. And, um, like, the big, like, baits, they're getting out of control with the scent. I, I try to pick one up, and it just slips out of my hand right when I pick it up. So the next one we got is the 3-inch in Bama Bug. Another really good uh, color, and this is probably going to be used as trailers. Uh, most likely, I don't think I would really throw that on anything else. Next we have the 3 inch in green pumpkin. These are also going to be used for trailers. Uh, just It's so small you can't really Texas rig it. Um, maybe I throw it on a drop shot. That would be kind of weird. But you can always try it out. Next we have another 3 inch in black blue. And i um, also going to be using these for like jig trailers and stuff. Um, next we have 4 inch in June bug. June bug is probably one of my favorite colors for my lake. We got another four inch in green pumpkin green, just like a green pumpkin player color with some green flakes in there. Next, we got this watermelon orange flake, and it um it looks like a watermelon color with a, uh, a gold tint to it, and I have senkos like that, and they work pretty well on my lake, so I figured I'd try them out. Next, we got the four inch version in uh, classic black and blue, one of my favorite colors. We got another four inch in electric blue. Now this color looks really cool. I'll take these out for you. It's like a, uh, it's kind of, it kind of looks like the plum, to be honest. It's like blue flare. It's going to also be a pretty good presentation. Just, it's it's also like another crawfish pattern. But um, the fish won't be paying too much attention to the colors, more or less the bait. Next, last one, we have these huge ones. These are the 5-inch in summer craw. These are absolutely massive baits. I'm um, going to catch some big fish on these when I'm pitching these. So, that's it for the habit baits. Close enough. Next, we got this box of randoms. Well, not really randoms. Half of this stuff is Zoom. So we'll go over what's not Zoom first. Uh, first, we got a bunch of... Well, not a bunch. We got a good amount of big by bait stuff. First, we got two packs of swimming craws, and um, uh, I was surprised when I picked the pack of craws up. They look identical, um, but uh, I like the pack of craws better because they don't have so much scent on them. But um, if I really had a price budget, I would probably take 
these because they're a lot cheaper and they're pretty much the same big. Hollow body, um, yeah, I was really surprised. Uh, I wonder which one came out first because the other one could be like a copy off of it. So the only difference actually is in the craw flaps. The, um, the design is a little different. Next we have four packs of Senkos. We have one in like a, uh, I don't know the color. It doesn't really say it. Mm, it's like a purple, kind of. Next is in a, like a blue, blue flake with a shirtress tail. This one's in PB and J, know that. Because fish love peanut butter and jelly. Uh, next one, this is in black and red. Slide these back in there. Next we got two pack of yum base. First one's a woolly bug, almost identical to the Charlie's worms flipping bug. If I, I hope I put that back. Uh oh, oh there it is. Pretty much identical. Um, great bait. And next we have the yum warning shot. Really good drop shot and shaky head bait. I really believe in this on a drop shot. Uh, it's the tail is kind of like a swim tail and it will go back and forth as you kind of just twitch it in. So yeah, I'm really I'm really pleased on the presentation of that bait. Next, we're going over the net bait stuff. More high quality. Um, here we got the baby packet craws. Again, look just like the swimming craw. Just without that really strong, annoying scent. There's still a scent to it, but it's not all like you touch it and it'll slip through your hand. Um, these are in more, this is more of a craw color. I kind of got the other ones for jig trailers, but I think I'm going to be using those on Texas rigs and stuff now. But I swear, they have the same exact design, except the craw flaps are a little different. I'm going to pull one out. You know, I don't care if my hands get all slimy. And show you guys the similarities between these two baits. Show the camera that. Now this one is the baby pack of craw, and this one is the swimming craw from Big White Baits. They have the same idea right here for the hollow. And as you can see, the craw flaps, they're just different patterns. Other than that, I think it's like the same exact bait. So if you really needed to come down to price, I would recommend Big White Baits Swimming Craw. But um, if you, I think this is probably going to be better quality, though. We can test it out. See, um, but the one thing, the difficulty I did have with the swim craw is um, the plastic they made it with is really weak. And it will rip apart easier than probably the pack of craws. Seem a little stretchier. Yeah, it won't rip apart as easy. So, that's, uh, recommend picking up the net bait. But um, if you're on a budget, pick up the big red bait swim and craw. Next, we got the net bait tiny packet chunk in Toledo Special. I really like this color because I want to show you, stand up and show you guys again. It has two sides to it. Get it right this time. Alright. So this one is green pumpkin on one side. And this is black and blue. And when I switch them, they're two different colors on one, on one craw. So it's going to be good on the jig trailers because the main colors you're using are black and blue and green pumpkin for jigs. Unless you're using like a uh, like a brown or a, a black or something like that or like a red, but I just really like the colors on that packet chunk. Next we got um one pack of missile baits, D bomb and Bruiser Flash, also a really interesting bait. I've never used these before, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. And I really like the design myself and this color. If you, if the camera can see that, this side is black and this side is blue. Um, really cool color. I'll probably throw it like this and probably just use it as a pitching craw. And again, this is one of the baits where I hold on to it and it's just slipping away from my hand. It's so slippery. Oh, it smells awful too. But um, can't wait to try this out. Really excited. Next, we got um, Charlie's Worms, Flippin' Bug, and uh, Blue Flake. 
And this is more of a craw color. It's kind of like the plum color. Same thing as the woolly bug, really. Um, just more expensive. Uh, next, we got the Key Tech Swing Impact Custom Worms, four inches. Key Tech Custom Worms Swing Impact in four inches. And um, it says Pro Blue with red pearl. I guess I could see that. And uh, if you don't like bad smelling baits, I uh, wouldn't smell this one. No, it has a squid scent to it, and it's awful. But maybe the fish like it, because they like weird things. Oh, you can't eat these. You can't eat these. Yeah, don't eat these. <laughs> Next, the rest of the side is Zoom, so I'm just going to take all those out. Zoom is probably my favorite soft bait company, but um, they're a little more expensive than the Havoc. That's why I have more Havoc stuff. And um, first we got the Swim and Super Fluke Jr. and Smoking Chad. Just a, uh, like a trailer for the Chatterbaits and the uh, Spinnerbaits. I actually didn't go over the Spinnerbaits, so I will go over those when this video, when the, I'm done doing these. Next we have the two Super Salty Flukes. And uh, this is an Electric Chad. This was a limited edition color. And I picked this up at Dick's Sporting Goods in the unboxing, or unbagging. So, um... If you like to see that video, it's uh, I'll link it in the description. And um, a review on Dick's Sporting Goods fishing selection is um, I give them an A um, compared to the Bass Pro Shops. Uh, Bass Pro Shops in Hookstead, New Hampshire, I would give them like a D. Their selection, to be honest, they have a good selection. I went to go pick up two rod and reel combos um, that were good quality, and I ended up getting one because of the lack of selection they have. So if you live in the New England area, if you're going to go to a Bass Pro Shops, go to the one in Foxborough. It is so much better, bigger, they have a better selection, and um, I think you'll find more there. Um, but around where I live, I think the Dick's Sporting Goods, they're way better in fishing selection. And um, I actually just went today, and uh, they um, they told me that they keep, whenever they something new, they were restocking the shelf, and they had more shelves coming in and in. And every time I go in there, I swear the fishing selection is getting bigger and bigger. Um, they buy the new line of lures. Rapala just came out with the new line of lures. They have them right now. And they're restocking the shelves. They're getting out with the old ones and in with the new. So um, big shout out to them. Go um, go check them out if you're looking for fishing stuff. Um, so yeah, I should stay on top. But, but I just had to say that. These are the Brush Hogs in Black Emerald. Um, really good bait. Um, had a lot of success in my lake. But I ended up trying these in a smaller pond, and uh, I didn't have any luck with them. So I wonder if they look for more natural baits there. But in my lake, they seem to not even care what you throw. They'll just hit anything. It's awesome. So next, we got the 8-inch Magnum Lizards and Blue Mug Red. And um, I had these for a while, and I didn't use these really. But um, I was counting on waiting for these in the pre-spawn the pre spawn. spawn. Um, not exactly ice out, but just right before the spawn or the fish are on beds. Uh, really good way to catch the big bass. Good big bass technique. And um, last base we have are these Zoom Trick Worms in black grape. Best color on the market. If you're going to pick up Trick Worms, pick up the black grape. Or Finesse Worms, it's all the same. Pick up black grape. Best color on the market, I guarantee it. And the next one is in green pumpkin green. And in the pack, you might be, your eyes might be see. They look brown. When you actually take them out and hold them up, hold them up for the camera, because they look brown. But um, if you get the uh, camera right, the light right, and uh, it probably will be underwater too, you can definitely tell it's green pumpkin. Or a watermelon, whatever. I forget what it was. I think it was a... Yeah, it was green pumpkin. So. Oh, we got to go over the spin base now. Fortunately, I only have three spinner baits. Uh, I don't really lose them a lot, so I don't really have to restock on them. But I did have to restock on them, on them this year. First, we got the Booyah spinner bait in um, white shad or natural shad. I don't know what the actual color is. Some kind of shad. And um, white and neon green, in my opinion, are the best colors to use. This is another Booyah one. 
in white with neon green. And this is probably white or neon green. Those are the two most effective colors. Because I only throw spinner baits on, uh, I sometimes I'll throw it on a hot sunny day. Uh, but I've kind of progressed into throwing them on cloudy days. I found it works a little better. And you'll catch some big fish on these. Next we have the Strike King Banshee Series Spinnerbait. Comes with a trailer hook. Uh, really great deal. But um, we're going to find out this summer if it's uh, the quality is as good as it says. So, um, so that's it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't seen part one, go make sure to check that out. So, um, and go check the videos I linked in the description. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Fish Central.